Crazy Guys. We're here with Suzanne Savoy, a successful New York actress, here today to talk about theater. So welcome, Suzanne. Thank you very much. Should they should they go to Forty Second Street and take in a big production? Or hey, you can't lose with Times Square. If you go to Times Square, you'll see all kinds of famous shows that have been running forever, or new famous shows with famous people in them. Now that gets a little pricey, though, and not everybody wants to, to spend money on Broadway shows every single night. So you might want to try one of those first out, right out the gate, um, and then. Start Just a few steps other. away from Times Square is what they call the new 42nd Street. And Annie, I've got to tell you, there are a great selection of theaters of all types on the new 42nd Street. It's called Theater Row. And you've got the, the Acorn, the yes, the Acorn Theater, the Beckett. Uh, the, the Signature Theater is right near Theater Row as well. The Signature is interesting because if you have a favorite playwright, um, they will they will uh, organize a season all around one playwright. Some of the playwrights they've done in the past are Horton Foote, Arthur Miller, Tina Howe. They'll do a whole season and then throw a few extra goodies. Now just just so fine in that area. The new Victory Theater, which was a beautiful old theater refurbished by the Disney Corporation back in the late 90s, and they produce top-notch children's and families shows. Now these are not shows that, that that pander to children or that, um, you know, take some old thing and rehash it. This is smart, interesting theater that the New York Times says talks up to children instead of pandering down to them. So the New Victory is a great a couple of hours. Yeah. And what, what do you think you'd like to do after a show? Oh, I'm hungry. You're hungry. Oh, okay. I'm hungry. Maybe a little thirsty. Yeah. Okay. Oh, definitely. Well, uh, along the new 42nd Street, there are a number of restaurants, some very interesting some Josephine's, which is, um, it's a New Orleans style, chic, uh, sort of a faded elegance type place uh, run by the sons of Josephine Baker, who was an exotic dancer back in the 20s, the teens and 20s. She adopted a number of children and two of her children have opened a place called Josephine's, which is kind of a jazz bar, blues bar, and a good place to go have dessert and a drink or dinner after the show. Mm, that sounds delicious. It's a and full fun. evening. And fun. Now, if I'm already in New York uh, and I want to get tickets, is there a place I can get like discount tickets? Or? There are a few ways you can do that, Annie. You can go to uh, the TKTS booth and that moves that has moved around the city a few times depending on what venues are available. Uh, it could be in Times Square, but sometimes that closes down for a while. And you, so just do a little research on the, where the TKTS booth is. The day of the show, you can stand in line and get last minute half price tickets. Or some a lot of theaters will let you show up the day of the show and get on a list. Put like a wait list. Or exactly. Something. Exactly, for less expensive tickets. So that's another good way to get tickets to sold out shows. People don't show up, so they want to sell those seats. And, that sounds um, what can I do to experience some of the neighborhood? Great shows, great theaters in Brooklyn. Brooklyn Academy of Music shows international theater, and it's been doing that for over 100 years. Uh, the Gallery Players in Brooklyn. Now they do hilarious comedy and musical comedy. They have a great group of performers working as an ensemble. And for those of you who really like to go a little left of center, a lot left of center, uh, there's a cutting edge performance venue called St. Anne's Warehouse in a neighborhood of Brooklyn called Dumbo, which means down under Manhattan Bridge overpass, Dumbo. And uh, St. Anne's Warehouse shows all kinds of real avant-garde, new, exciting theater that you won't see anywhere else. Sounds Absolutely. Great. It is. Sounds PS 122. That was an old abandoned public school, PS, which has become a performance space, PS 122. And they find and nurture new artists who are breaking ground in new types of theater. New, new forms of Queen's expression. Company. Forms Queen's of Company takes the idea that, well, if you can have an all-male company doing Shakespeare, 
why not have an all-female company doing Shakespeare's so Really? We'll, we'll show William Faulkner. That's too. right, and they do a bang. You've also got the Red Bull Theater doing historical theater. They're doing Jacobean theater, and it's raw, and it's sexy, and it's, it's some of the smartest theater in New York. It just sounds like there's something for everyone. There really is. These bits of information that you would like to leave us with. <laughs> um, in Chelsea, uh, that's sort of downtown, you've got Upright Citizens Brigade. That's a comedy club, it's a comedy theater, and they're doing long-form improv. They have name artists coming in from time to time. Any week that you go, you never know who you're going to see there. The tickets, I'm telling you, they're so inexpensive. They range from five to eight dollars. So, New York theater doesn't have to break the bank account, and no. you can have a wonderful time and learn a lot and see a lot of good things. Absolutely, we have enjoyed and this tremendously, Sam. We we wish you great success in Thank your you. career, and we want to remind our listeners that the Susie Guides Walk New York City will be out November in time for Christmas. <gasps> Excellent. Yay. A good present. Yay.